This is a video showing how to determine the maximum and minimum sampling rates for different sensors on different interfaces. So within Capstone, go ahead and select the hardware setup. Even though you may not have an interface connected, it is possible to check this maximum sampling rates for sensors by going down to Choose Interface and then selecting Manually Choose. In this case, we're going to check the different sampling rates for the PASCO 850 and the PASCO 550 interfaces. So even though these are not connected to the computer, they're displayed over here. So the first port that I'd like to check is the analog port on channel A. I'll need to, de I'll need to designate a type of sensor. In this case, I'll select an acceleration sensor. When that sensor is selected, it'll have a uh, dark outline on it. And then down below, you'll see the name of the sensor along with its icon. Select the gear next to Properties. A Properties window will then appear that will have the name of the sensor, its default sample rate, its maximum sampling rate on that interface, and the minimum sampling rate. For the Science Workshop sensors and for some of the Passport sensors, the maximum sampling rate can sometimes be set by which interface the item is connected to. So in this case, the maximum sampling rate for the acceleration sensor is 1 times 10 to the 7th, or 10 megahertz. Let's remove that sensor from above, and we're going to attach the same sensor to the 550 below. Again, the uh, dark outline shows that that is the selected sensor, and now we'll go down to Properties down below and select the gear. Once I've done that, uh, the Properties window will open, let me go ahead and extend this a bit. And again, it will show the name of the sensor, its default sample rate, its maximum sample rate, and its minimum sample rate. So in this case, we'll see that we're uh, down to 2 megahertz rather than the 10 megahertz that uh, we had on uh, the 850 interface. We can do the same process for the passport sensors when they're connected, uh, when we click on the uh, yellow circles and the passport sockets of the 550. And in this case, let's go ahead and run down to the, the 4 sensor. So we can select it quickly by typing F, and then from that limited list, uh, we can select 4 sensor. Again, we'll repeat the same process and select the gear. And then we can see that for this 4 sensor, um, it can uh, be used down to a default sample rate of 20 hertz to a maximum sample rate of 5,000 hertz, which is distinct from many of the other passport type sensors, and then its minimum sample rate is um, quite low in fact. 